Welcome everyone. I'm going to take you from earth to cloud. That means cloud computing from basic to advanced. And we'll tell you all that you need to know to become a cloud engineer or a cloud architect or a cloud security consultant and much more. So let's have it. You are listening to Vinay and I have more than a decade of proven experience in cybersecurity that includes cloud security as well. I'm delighted to be here again today to talk to you about cloud from scratch to advance. This is our four, fifth course focusing cybersecurity and the cloud computing and security. To explore other courses and areas in various security domains, please click on the I button and watch courses from cyber cybersecurity collections that meets your learning requirements. Transitioning to innovations in IT often feels like leaping faith, setting aside all pretense of encouraging articles, shaping marketing and apparent uh, functionality. You may still be left scratching your head over whether or not this next step is the right one to make for your career and uh, for your organization's future. Cloud computing has been an innovation uh, that has turned over new stones for businesses around the globe. In theory, it's fascinating prospect, but uh, what is theory without results? I'm saying you shouldn't just take my words for it rather than blind acceptance. I'm providing 10 examples of businesses that have uh, thrived using cloud computing through the services provided by AWS and Azure. Whether you find uh, these success stories to be a reassurance or simply interesting, they are uh, proof enough that cloud computing service models aren't just uh, hot air. Amazon Web Services or AWS for short is a cloud platform provided by Amazon hosting infrastructure for anything from start startups to enterprise businesses to government agencies. They provide the latest innovations in technology like machine learning, artificial intelligence, computer vision, and an enormous suit of other services to help advance any businesses. But what about the cloud success stories? What established companies have exploited AWS to give uh, themselves a major edge in the business world? First is uh, SimScale, which is a computer-aided engineering uh, software product that uh, provides uh, simulation software to over uh, 100,000 uh, users. They allow these thousands of users to run more simulations than traditional local computer-based systems and in turn, they iterate more design changes as a result. The startup was founded as a solution to the high cost of uh, using simulation as part of the design process, allowing uh, product designers to stimulate, uh, sorry, uh, to simulate affordably and make better informed decisions. SimScale was built by five co-founders who were uh, still students at the time. And as it tends to be with students, they had a very limited budget to work with. They decided to launch the platform in the cloud through AWS. Deciding to run the business in the AWS cloud from uh, day one allowed SimScale to be the first simulation product to the market, enjoying considerable growth ever since. SimScale co-founders recognize that they have been able to set up a simulation environment in an extremely cost-efficient way. Had they used their own hardware, they would have required a complete team of people to run uh, their systems. Instead, they now only employ a few DevOps engineers to look after their AWS cloud infrastructure. Using AWS have saved them thousands in hardware, personal cost, and IT maintenance. The result is now hundreds of thousands of users running simulations efficiently to improve the design of their products. Second is Airbnb, which is an online marketplace and hospitality service company that allows property owners and travelers to connect to rent unique vacation uh, spaces around the world. Based in San Francisco, California, A Airbnb doesn't own any of the properties listed on its services. It simply acts as a broker receiving commission uh, from each booking. The idea for the company was conceived after its founder placed a mattress in their apartment living room and uh, renting set space as a bed and breakfast. A year after Airbnb was launched, the company decided to migrate nearly all of its cloud computing functions to AWS due to service issues with their original provider. AWS gave them the possibility to ramp up over uh, more servers without having to contact or go through anybody or, and without committing to a certain minimum uses. 
the provided leniency accelerated the Airbnb's growth exponentially without any setbacks. Not only that, but the entire database migration to Amazon RDS was completed with only requiring 15 minutes of platform downtime. Third is Nextdoor. Nextdoor is a private social networking service for uh, neighborhoods based in San Francisco. It allows its member to connect and communicate uh, about relevant issues in their community, such as news, events, local service provider recommendations, warnings about suspicious activity, and so on and so forth. Nextdoor currently uses AWS to develop and launch new features and products on demand with just a single click, immediately improving user uh, performance without the need of any engineering work. For Nextdoor, uh, their IT uh, priority is to have a fast and solid platform that can support their users effectively and efficiently. Since the occasions uh, uh, may arise that they need to message their neighbors urgently in time of crisis, Therefore, they need the flexibility to scale up and meet their growing customers' demands. Fourth is Flatiron Health. Flatiron is a healthcare uh, technology services company that focuses on accelerating cancer research and improving patient care. This is facilitated by hosting a platform that uh, allows cancer researchers and care providers to share relevant information and learn from the specific experience of uh, every patient. Flatiron was founded after its creator, um, creators experienced the painful journey of cancer through close family and friends. Through these experiences, they realized that there was no easy way to access useful data of previous cancer pa uh, patients in the US. Flatiron was conceived as a solution to ensure that researchers and doctors were able to collaborate by connecting uh, cancer centers across the US allowing them to share uh, what they have learned from every patient's experience with the disease. The benefits the company enjoys through AWS include the improvement of cancer data quality across the US and the speedy development of on oncology data software. Flatiron collaborates with over 260 oncology practice, uh, large academic research uh, institutions and other healthcare organizations which uh, currently use the company's cloud-based system to manage their daily workflows and analyze more than 1.6 million cancer patients. All of this happens while uh, also ensuring HIPAA compliance and other healthcare industry regulations by running on the AWS cloud. Leveraging the cloud uh, gives Flatiron professionals the time they need to concentrate on developing better software for oncology practices. Provide organized cancer data to researchers quicker and uh, ultimately accelerate the fight against cancer. Fifth is Bambora. Bambora, which is a Swedish company that provides uh, card acquiring, payment processing, infrastructure, and additional services to businesses of all sizes, enabling offline and online sellers to accept debit and credit card payments. Founded in 2015, Bambora now has over, over 700 employees and operates in more than 65 countries. Because of this rapid growth, Bambora needed a heavily secured IT system that could scale quickly on a global level and efficiently meet legalizations in all the countries it operates in. By utilizing AWS to host many of its platforms, the company can enter new markets at an average of three months, which is far quicker than the industry average. This is precise because they don't need hardware to function. Some other benefits of implementing cloud solutions include scaling easily to match the business uh, multi-million dollar growth in just two years, launching new features to market in three months instead of 12, which is the current industry average, quickly setting up compliant environments in any country. Microsoft Azure is not altogether different from AWS, providing cloud computing infrastructure for a variety of businesses sizes. Designed for compatibility with any industry, it distinguishes itself from its competition by being the only hybrid cloud service on the market. It's committed to open source software, enabling businesses to effectively develop from anywhere by any means. First from Azure is uh, DriveTime. DriveTime is, uh, is a used car retailer and finance company based in Tampa, Arizona. The retailing process is as uh, like uh, drive time buys used cars at different auctions, then puts the purchased cars through a 14 day, uh, day inspection at one of its uh, 24 inspection centers to make 
any necessary repairs before sending their vehicles to its dealerships. To deliver the best possible value to customers, the company used to send its 65 uh, buyers yearly to physically inspect and acquire thousands of cars at public auctions all across the country. Said buyers relied on their knowledge uh, from years of experience keeping track of the whole process on paper. After years of doing things the old way, DriveTime decided to automate their manual intuition-based auction and purchasing process by building up an uh, app through Microsoft Azure Cloud uh, Database Services. With the online buyer uh, app, the buyers now connect from their computers to a live video feed and review every car in up to four auctions at once, instead of traveling to just one auction and walking lanes of cars. This allows drive time to acquire three times more vehicles than they could before uh, with the obsolete manual process. The company inspectors can now save time and transform their knowledge uh, into an accurate and repeatable, uh, repeatable uh, purchase process. Second is uh, Wine Shipping. Wine Shipping is a wine shipment company founded in uh, Napa, California over 30 years ago. Wine Shipping currently uh, manages nine facilities across the US uh, with more than uh, 700 wineries available as uh, providers. Wine bottle shipping must be done with extreme care. That includes temperature control, special packaging and break insurance. To operate efficiently, wine shipping must uh, track its co customer and operational data tightly. Within, with this in mind, they decided to go for a cloud-based solution with Dynamics 365 to focus more time on running the business and less on managing IT infrastructure and staff. Through its dynamic uh, 365 deployment, uh, the company unified its four financial systems into a single platform, helping it meet financial obligations on time like submitting tax reports to state liquor control bo boards and federal agencies while reducing operating costs by 20% and increasing productivity by 30 to 50%. Third is Accenture United States, which is a professional services company specializing in strategy consulting, digital transformation, IT and operations. I have been a part of Accenture and it is one of the greatest organization I have worked till date. 90% of the company's applications and servers have migrated to cloud, including Microsoft Azure and Microsoft 365, giving employees access to business data no matter where they are, boosting productivity. To increase security on their cloud apps, Accenture deployed Microsoft Cloud App Security, which provides them with identity and access management tools, mobile device and app management, data protection and security, as well as threat uh, detection and prevention. Fourth is Devon. Devon is an oil and natural uh, gas exploration and production company based in US. Devon is a data driven company and must provide set data to the right people in an efficient way. By utilizing Office 365, Devon gives its field workers the ability to access that data immediately from any device to make a drilling decision, approve purchase orders or request delivery of material to a work site, just to name a few examples. Besides these, other benefits provided by Microsoft, the company migrated its line of business applications and disaster recovery operations to the cloud with Microsoft Azure. This move allowed the company to rapidly deploy applications and scale accordingly in a cost efficient manner. The fifth and the last is San Diego County Office of Emergency Services coordinates the country, uh, county's response to disasters and uh, um, is the des uh, designated organization that uh, San Diego residents turn to when they need up to date information during sad disasters such as floods, wildfires, uh, earthquakes, and so on. The OES is also responsible for notifying and coordinating all agencies with the, when a disaster strikes, ensuring all needed resources are available and mobilized efficiently and developing recovery proce uh, procedures. To efficiently serve the whole community, the OES developed a cloud-based portal having the ability to send notification to San Diego resident on their mobile devices with information also being available in Spanish and formats for blind or deaf citizens. During disasters uh, before deployment to a cloud-based platform, the county's on-prem servers, which we call 
on premises servers as well uh, could not handle the huge flood of visitors to their official website resulting in the site crashing that experience led them to took for a better web hosting solution which made them turn to the microsoft azure cloud platform reducing their cost by 78 percent with these improvements and updates in place the oes agency is now meeting its goal goal of efficiently serving more county residents during times of crisis by providing real information in real time with push note notifications allowing them to make the right decisions then will help ensure their safety older web hosting services are becoming noticeably obsolete as uh, cloud computing service models gain popularity the cloud success stories were we listed um, as only a few of thousands of thriving businesses that have made the transition the earlier your organization make the shift the more efficient you will find the future to be let's get to know about our course objective well we are going to learn about the cloud we are going to understand how cloud delivers business outcomes and why those business outcomes are such compelling drivers for organizations today things like efficiencies scalability ease of management we will cover it all and you as an it professional i'm going to help you understand and gain some of the knowledge to understand how you as a security professional or as an it network admin or if you like software development or if you like database whatever your it strategy is and what you want to do in it professional i'm going to help you align and find out what your cloud strategy is by what we are gonna cover in this course and while i make no assumptions about who you are and why you might be taking this course i think this course should be most useful to three type of people first this course is for anyone regardless of background who has an interest in cloud technology and security and wants to explore what it takes to be a cloud computing professional or a cloud security professional current IT professional looking to transition to a more exciting or lucrative career as also a uh, good candidate for this course. You will learn why cybersecurity professionals or cloud security professionals are in such high demand and why they may enjoy more job satisfaction than they would in other IT jobs. Finally, this course is for people who are currently in cybersecurity field who wants to enhance their career and want to explore cloud security as a career opportunity. You will learn about certifications to valid your, uh, validate your experience and uh, make you a more desirable candidate. I designed this course to benefit people from a wide variety of backgrounds and experiences, and I hope that includes you. There are 10 checkpoints in the, this full cloud computing learning series. In checkpoint one, cloud overview, we are going to review who are the players and uh, who are the organizations in race for cloud market share and their current share in the market today. We are going to review various cloud platforms such as AS, SaaS, PaaS and Compute as a Service. And we are going to review modeling such as a private cloud, public cloud, hybrid cloud and community cloud platforms. In checkpoint two, characteristics of cloud computing, we are going to learn about critical cloud services such as elasticity, pay as you grow, chargebacks and cloud bursting. We are going to spend a lot of time learning cloud terminologies. In checkpoint three, I'm going to give you an overview of key cloud players such as AWS, Azure and GCP. We will learn about their history, core offerings and if you are an IT professional then I recommend you to put more focus on learning licensing. Also we are uh, we will uh, review their market strategies, their uniqueness like education and K312. In checkpoint four we are going to learn about cloud storage and we are going to learn about disk read write operations input output per second or IOPS. Also, we will take a look at various uh, types of storage architecture such as directed uh, attached storage, network attached storage and storage area network SAN. In checkpoint five, before uh, we talk about the network as a service, we need to understand wireless as a service and collect money as a service. Um, we also need to learn about our LAN technologies and WAN technologies and how we are going to get to a uh, cloud and 802.11 wireless technologies our network today 
thanks to the internet of things and the cloud no longer has limitations in checkpoint 6 this is very important topic where we will learn about hypervisors and virtual cpus and memory and storage and other things that make the virtual environment and the cloud possible in checkpoint 7 we are going to take a deep dive into amazon web services we will learn about the entire amazon product suite and we will look at things like simple storage service as 3 we are also going to learn about the platform and compute as a service and we will learn about databases and data analytics and management tools and the front uh, uh, that we are going to use to manage all our Amazon product suite systems and services. In checkpoint 8, you are going to have more uh, fun by uh, taking a deep dive to Microsoft Azure, where we will learn about Azure product suite. We will learn about Azure security and identity solutions. And then we are going to look at Microsoft Azure's clear cloud and uh, how that might help our organization's disaster recovery, continued operation, business continuity, and planning services. In Checkpoint 9, Checkpoint 9 is all about the support and management of our cloud services. We will learn about cloud baselining, performance analysis, change testing, and our cloud management tools. Uh, troubleshooting is a very necessary skill if you uh, want to be a successful IT professional. Microsoft is all about cloud troubleshooting chest. Those tools our cloud providers give us to test, optimize and remediate any services that we might be having in our environment. We always wish to get up and operational and delivering business outcomes as soon as possible. Let me ask you this now. Are you ready for Cloud Architecture Foundations? If yes, then let's get started with the first checkpoint and take an overview of cloud architecture while evaluating the key cloud players and look at the various cloud platforms, cloud modeling types. We will be beginning our first steps where you will be building your own IT tool chest so that you also can be a cloud professional. Cloud computing offers your business many benefits. It allows you to set up what is essentially a virtual office to give you the flexibility of connecting to your business anywhere, anytime. With the growing number of web-enabled devices used in today's business environment, for example, smartphones, tablets, access to your data is even easier. According to a study by the International Data Group, 69% of businesses are already using cloud technology in one capacity or another, and 18% say they plan to implement cloud computing solutions at some point. At the same time, Dell reports that companies that invest in big data, cloud, mobility, and security enjoy up to 53% revenue uh, growth than their competitors. As this data shows, an increasing number of tax-savvy companies or businesses and industry leaders are recognizing the many benefits of the cloud computing trend. But more than that, they are using this technology to more efficiently run their organizations, better serve their customers, and dramatically increase their overall profit margins. There are many benefits to moving your businesses to a cloud. I'm going to talk about 12 only. First is reduced IT cost. Moving to cloud computing may reduce the cost of managing and maintaining your IT systems. Rather than purchasing expensive systems and equipments for your business, you can reduce your cost by using the resources of your cloud computing service provider. You may be able to reduce your operating costs because uh, uh, the cost of system upgrades, new hardware and uh, software may be included in your, in your contract. You no longer need to pay wages for expert staff. Your energy consumption cost may be reduced. There are fewer time delays. Then we have security. Many organizations have security concerns when it comes to adopting a cloud computing solution. After all, when files, programs, and uh, other data aren't kept uh, securely on site, how can you know that they are uh, being protected? If you can remotely access your data, then what's stopping a cyber uh, criminal from doing the same thing? Well, quite a bit. For one thing, a cloud host full-time job is to carefully monitor security, which is significantly more efficient than a conven conventional in-house system, where an organization must divide its uh, efforts between a uh, myriad of uh, IT concerns, with security being only one of them. And uh, uh, while most businesses don't like to openly consider the possibility of internal data theft, the truth is that a staggeringly 
high percentage of data thefts occur internally and are perpetrated by employees. When this is the case, uh, it can be much safer to keep sensitive information off site. Of course, this is all a uh, very abstract. So let's consider some solid statistics. Rapid scale claims that 94% of businesses saw an improvement in security after switching to the cloud and 90% said the cloud makes it easier to meet government compliance requirements. The key to this amped up uh, security is the encryption of data being transmitted over networks and stored in databases. By using encryption, information is less accessible by hackers or anyone not authorized to view your data. As an added security measure with most cloud-based uh, services, different security settings can be set based uh, on the user. While 20% of cloud users claim disaster recovery in four hours or less, only 9% of cloud users could claim the same. Third, the third benefit is flexibility. Cloud computing allows employees to be more flexible in their work practices. For example, you can access uh, data from home on holiday or via the commute to and from work. Providing you have an internet connection. If you need uh, access to your data while you are off site, you can connect to your virtual office quickly and easily. The fourth benefit is that cloud computing allows mobile access to corporate data via smartphones and devices, which considering over 2.6 billion smartphones are being used globally today is a great way to ensure that no one is ever left out of uh, the loop. Start with business schedules or uh, who live uh, a long way away from the corporate office can use this feature to instantly um, uh, up to date with clients and co-workers. Through the cloud, you can offer conveniently accessible information to sales staff uh, who travel, freelance employees or remote employees for better work-life balance. Therefore, it's not surprising to see that organizations with employee satisfaction listed as a priority are up to 24% more likely to expand cloud uses. The insight as we move ever further into the digital age, it's becoming clearer and clearer that the adage knowledge is the power has taken on, on the more modern and accurate form. Data is money hidden within the millions of bits of data that surround your customer transaction and business process are nuggets of invaluable actionable information just waiting to be identified and acted upon. Of course, shifting through that data to find these kernels can be very difficult unless you have access to the right cloud computing solution. Many cloud, uh, many cloud based uh, storage solutions offer integrated cloud analytics for a bird's eye uh, view of your data. With your information stored in the cloud, you can easily implement uh, tracking uh, mechanisms and build customized reports to analyze information organizations wide. From those insights, you can increase efficiencies and build action plans to meet organizational goals. For example, the beverage company Sunil Delight was uh, able to increase profits by about $2 million a year and cut $1,95,000 in staffing cost through cloud-based business insight. The sixth benefit is collaboration. Collaboration in a cloud environment gives your business the ability to communicate and share more easily outside of the traditional method. If you are working on a project across different locations, you could use cloud computing to give employees, contractors, and third parties access to the same files. You could also choose a cloud computing model that makes it easy for you to share your records with your um, advisors. For example, a quick and secure way to share accounting records with your accountant or financial advisor. The seventh benefit is cloud, uh, sorry, um, the seventh benefit is quality control. There are few things uh, as uh, detrimental to the success of a business as poor quality and inconsistent reporting. In cloud-based systems, all documents are stored in one place and a single format. With everyone accessing the same information, you can maintain consistency in data, avoid human error, and have a clear record of any revisions or updates. Conversely, managing information in silos can lead to employees accidentally saving different versions of document, which leads to confusion and dilute, diluted data. The next benefit is business continuity and disaster recovery. 
protecting your data and systems is an important part of business continuity planning. Whether you experience a natural disaster, power failure or other crisis, having your data stored in the cloud ensures it is backed up and protected in a secure and safe location. Being able to access your data again quickly allows you to conduct business as usual, minimizing any downtime and loss of productivity. The ninth benefit is loss of uh, is loss prevention. If your organization isn't investing in a cloud computing solution, then all of your valuable data is inseparably tied to the office computers it resides in. This may not seem like a problem, but uh, reality is that uh, if your local hardware ex uh, experience is a problem, you might end up permanently losing your data. This is more common problem than you might realize computers can malfunction for many reasons uh, from viral infections to age related hardware uh, deterioration to simple users errors. Or despite the best of intentions, they can be misplaced or stolen. Over 10,000 laptops are reported lost every week at major airports. If you aren't on the cloud, you are at the risk of losing all the information you had saved locally. With a cloud-based server, however, all the information you have uploaded to the cloud remains safe and easily accessible from any computer with an internet connection, even if the computer you regularly use isn't working. The tenth benefit is automatic application updates. Access to automatic updates for your IT requirements may be included in your service fee. Depending on your cloud computing service provider, your system will regularly be updated with the latest technology. This cloud, uh, this could include up-to-date versions of software as well as upgrades to servers and computer processing power. The second last benefit is competitive edge. While cloud computing is increasing in popularity, there are still those who prefer to keep everything local. That's their choice, but doing so uh, places them at a distinct disadvantage when competing uh, with those who have the benefits of the cloud at their fingerprints. If you implement a cloud-based solution before your competitors, you will be further um, uh, along the learning curve by the time they catch up. A recent Verizon study showed that 77% of businesses feel uh, cloud technology gives them a competitive advantage and 16% believe that uh, this advantage is significant. And lastly, cloud benefits include sustainability. Given the current state of the environment, it's no longer enough for our organizations to place a recycling bin in the uh, break room and claim that uh, they are doing their part to help the planet. Real sustainability requires solutions that address wastefulness at every level of a business. Hosting on the cloud is more environmentally friendly and results in less of a carbon footprint. Cloud infrastructure support environmental pro, uh, proactivity, powering virtual services rather than physical products and hardwares and cutting down on paper waste, improving energy efficiency and Given that it allows employees access from anywhere uh, with an internet connection, reducing computer-related emissions. A Pike, research, a, a Pike Research report predicted that uh, data center energy consumption will drop by 31% uh, from uh, 2010 or to 2020 based on the adoption of cloud computing and other virtual uh, data options. AWS, MS Azure, and GCP have recently been named leaders in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for Cloud Infrastructure as a Service worldwide. The report which highlights and scores the top products in the industry features these three tools as being cornerstones in the space. Each provider's market share and product uh, portfolios differ, which is what makes them interesting to the wider audience of cloud consumers. Niche and uh, emerging vendors can only hope to replicate the kind of market presence that these providers have earned over a sustained period of time. Amazon Web Services, AWS, which is owned by Amazon, is a cloud-focused service provider that pioneered the ES market when the service went public in 2006. The AWS offering is an integrated ES and PaaS solution with Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2 delivering metered by the second multi-tenant and single-tenant VMs and bare metal servers. AWS is recommended for users who require a virtualized environment for pro projects. 
Gartner highlights the vendor's track record of customer success and range of customer profiles ranging from startups and uh, small and mid-sized businesses, SMBs, to large enterprises. Microsoft Azure is a cloud provider that offers an integrated ES and PaaS solutions. The vendor offers metered by the second Hyper-V virtualized multi-tenant compute, Azure virtual machines, as well as specialized large instances such as SAP HANA. Microsoft is leveraging its sales reach and ability to co-sell Azure with other Microsoft products and services to drive adoption. So companies committed to Microsoft technology generally choose Azure as their primary cloud pro provider. Microsoft Azure provides a well-integrated approach to edge computing and the Internet of the Things, IoT, in addition to its cloud services. Google Cloud is a cloud provider that delivers ES application platform as a service pass and pass services. Some of the vendor's capabilities include object storage, a Docker container service, Google uh, Kubernetes engine, and uh, event-driven uh, serverless computing, Google Cloud Functions. The company has leveraged its internal technology capabilities, automation, container, networking, etc by providing a scalable AS offering with PaaS capabilities centered on open source ecosystems. Google Cloud is recommended by, uh, for big data and uh, other analytics applications, machine learning projects, and cloud native applications. Signs of increased economic activity are abundant these days with the heightened demand for everything from industrial products to retail goods. So should I say omnichannel goods? to log logistics to professional services as that business activity intensifies going into the holiday season every type of company will need to stay closer uh, to its customers to meet their rising expectations and the cloud war top 10 are gearing up as well microsoft is enhancing its industry specific capabilities amazon is also joining the industry specific movement via a remarkable deal with a big shipping customer SAP has unveiled a sweeping CX plan that it believes far transcend tra traditional CRM. Oracle has released its most powerful Exa data system ever uh, as a dedicated cloud service. In 1928, IBM invented the computer punch cards. If you remember, these became the industry standard for the next 50 years, holding nearly all of the world's known information at the time. IBM's punch card helped automate large-scale projects such as the U.S. Census. IBM today continues to hold more than U.S. Uh, more U.S. Uh, patents than other any other company. IBM's cloud offers are just as big, and let me just share a small list of them: compute bare metal and virtual servers, network services like load balancers, virtual private network, VPN tunnels, and firewalls, storage management tools, tools that monitor cloud appointments tools that even manage competitors' cloud services, security databases like SQL, NoSQL, and querying tools, data analytics, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, IoT services that connect and manage IoT devices and software, and application developer tools. Let's understand cloud computing architecture. The lowest level is infrastructure as a service, IaaS. This is where pre-configured hardware provided to the customers. There is infrastructure only and no software is provided, such as the operating system or the applications. These are the responsibility of the buyer. Platform as a service, PaaS, goes one step further and include the operating environment, such as uh, the operating system and application services. Platform as a service is primarily for an organization to developers and require a development environment for a given application. But like the idea of someone else maintaining the deployment platform for them and software as a service or SaaS offers fully functional applications on demand to provide specific services such as email, customer relationship management, CRM, enterprise resource planning, ERP, web conferencing and a whole host of other applications. Then we have unified communication as a service is a category of as a service or cloud delivery mechanism for enterprise communications. Similar to the platform as a service with the UCAS, unified communication services can be made available from the cloud to businesses from SMB to the enterprise. One of the great example of this is uh, 
a cloud com uh, com communication company called Brandsoft. Recently acquired by Cisco, uh, I could uh, buy a bunch of IP telephones in my business. I can plug them into the internet and then Cisco's broad soft communication cloud platform will provide me by, uh, my phone lines, will provide uh, me my telephone system features, my voicemail messaging, my WebEx uh, meeting services and customer cloud spaces and uh, business team spaces, my intelligent contact center, call recording services and all the analytics about how I can better improve and how I can currently use my communication platform services. In a public cloud, individual businesses share on-premises and access to basic computer infrastructure, servers, storage, networks, development platforms, etc. provided by a CSP that we call cloud service provider. Each company shares the CSP's infrastructure with the other companies that have subscribed to the cloud. Payment is usually pay as you go with no minimum time requirements. Some CSPs derive revenue from advertising and offer free public clouds. Public clouds are usually based on massive hardware installations distributed in locations throughout the country or across the globe. Their size enables economies of scale that permits maximum scalability to meet uh, requirements as a company's need, expand or uh, contract. Uh, maximum flexibility to meet surges in demand in real time and maximum reliability in case of hardware failures. Public clouds are highly cost effective, I can say, because the business only pays for the computer resources it uses. Also, the business has access to uh, state of the art computer infrastructure without having to purchase it and hire IT staff to install and maintain it. The main advantage of public clouds is that advanced the security and privacy provisions are beyond their capabilities. For example, public clouds cannot meet many regulatory compliance requirements because their tenants share the same computer infrastructure. Also, large CSPs often implemented their public clouds on hardware installations located outside the United States, which may be a concern for some businesses. Public clouds are well suited for hosting development platforms or web browsers for big data processing that places heavy demands on computer resources and for companies that do not have advanced security concerns. Uh, then we have private clouds. In a private cloud, a business has access to infrastructure in the cloud that is not shared with anyone else. The business typically deploys its platforms and software applications on the cloud infrastructure. The business's inf in infrastructure usually lies behind a firewall that is accessed through the com company intranet over in in encrypted connections. Payment is often based on a free uh, on a fee per unit time model. Private clouds have the significant advantage of being able to provide enhanced levels of security and privacy because computer infrastructure is dedicated to a single client. Sarbanes-Oxley, PCI and HIPAA compliance are all possible in, in a private cloud. Also, private cloud CSPs are more likely to customize the cloud to meet companies' need. An important disadvantage of private clouds for some companies is that the company is responsible for managing their development platforms and software applications on the CSP's infrastructure. While this gives the business substantial control on the software side, it uh, comes at the cost of having to employ IT staff that can handle the company's cloud uh, deployment. Recognizing this disadvantage, some CSPs provide software applications and a virtual desktop uh, within a company's private cloud. Private clouds have the uh, additional disadvantages that uh, they tend to be more expensive and the company is limited to using the infrastructure specified in their contract with the CSP. Hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud, uh, a company's cloud deployment uh, is split between private and uh, public cloud infrastructure. Sensitive data remains within the private cloud where um, uh, high security standards can be maintained. Operations that do not make use of sensitive data are carried out in the public cloud where infrastructure can scale to meet demands and costs are reduced. Hybrid clouds are well suited to carrying out big data operations or on non-sensitive data in the public cloud while keeping sensitive data protected in the private cloud. Hybrid clouds also um, give companies the 
option of running their public facing applications or their capacity uh, capacity intensive deployment platforms in the public portion of the cloud while their sensitive data remains protected community cloud are a recent variation on the private cloud model that provides a complete cloud solution for a specific business communities businesses share infrastructure provided by the csp for software and development tools that are designed to meet community needs also each business has its own private cloud space that is built to meet the security privacy and compliance needs that are common in the community community clouds are an attractive option for companies in the health financial or legal spheres that are subject to rest, uh, strict regulatory compliance they are also well suited to managing joint projects that benefit uh, from sharing community specific software applications or development platforms the recent development of community clouds illustrate how cloud computing is evol evolving CSPs can combine uh, different type of clouds with different service models to provide businesses with attractive cloud solutions that meet a company's need. I'm working hard to get you on the same page and you will also have to put in the efforts now. Applause cannot be possible with one hand. So if you want the world to applause for you, then join your hands off efforts with mine and then let's shine. So pause your video until you have answers to the following questions in your mind, which are on your screen now. Let's learn about infrastructure as a service. The computer, the hardware, the storage and uh, networking infrastructure the cloud can provide us. Infrastructure as a service is an instant computing infrastructure provisioned and managed over the internet. It is one of the four type of cloud services along with software as a service SaaS platform as a service, PaaS and serverless. IES quickly scales up and down uh, with demand, letting you pay only for what you use. It helps you avoid the expense and complexity of buying and managing your physical servers and other data center infrastructure. Each resource is offered as a separate uh, service component and you only need to rent a particular one for as long as you need it. A cloud computing service provider such as Azure managing the infrastructure while you purchase, install, configure and manage your software, operating systems, middleware and applications. Typical things uh, business do with AS include uh, test and environment, uh, sorry, test and development. Teams can quickly uh, set up and dismantle test and development environments, bringing new applications to market faster. AS makes it quick and economical to scale up dev test environments up and down. Web hosting, running websites using ES can be less expensive than traditional web hosting. Storage, backup and recovery. Organizations avoid the capital outlay for storage and complexity of storage management, which typically requires a skilled staff to manage data and meet legal and compliance requirements. ES is useful for handling uh, unpredictable demand and steadily growing storage needs. It can also simplify the planning and management of backup and recovery uh, systems. Web apps. ES provide all the infrastructure to support web apps, including storage, web and application servers and networking resources. Organizations can quickly deploy web apps on ES and uh, easily scale infrastructure up and down when demand for the apps is unpredictable. High performance computing. High performance computing or we can call it HPC on supercomputers, computer grids or computer clusters helps solve complex problems in involving millions of variable or calculations. Example include earthquake and protein uh, folding simulations, climate and weather predictions, financial modeling and uh, evaluating product designs, big data analysis. Big data is a popular term for massive data sets that contain potentially valuable patterns, trends and associations. Mining data sets to locate or tease out these hidden patterns requires a huge amount of processing power, which EAS economically provides. So this is where the cloud consumers fee for the cloud provided infrastructure as a service. Pay as you go, pay as you use, pay and pay as you grow models. They all mean the same thing. These are payment methods for cloud computing that charges based on uses. It's a lot like uh, your utility bill. You can uh, only use the resource uh, that is needed and that's uh, all you have to pay for. 
with the pub public cloud the pay as you method allows for example in storage only to be charged for how much data your organization stores one major benefit of the cloud coin operated model is uh, there are no wasted resources since users only pay for services procured and uh, not provisioned such as uh, we are building a, a cloud storage container that can store a maximum of 1 terabyte of information but uh, you end up only using uh, 300 gigabyte of storage be aware that cloud platforms on infrastructure as a service platform is a service and software as a service each can use a different form of pay as uh, you use pay as you grow or uh, pay as you go payment methods compute storage and virtualization as also a big infrastructure as a service offering when you play in the in enterprise network as i do you will learn pretty quickly that organizations been uh, millions of dollars in computing uh, platforms to run their mission critical applications but then enterprises will spend as much if uh, uh, more and all the licensing that is required to virtualize their computing servers such as databases applications and information management systems but what about all that data centers networking that is needed to tell uh, this computing and software infrastructure together all the power generation to drive it uh, the cooling to keep the system running efficiently and the backup system is necessary to keep your mission, mission critical systems running and your critical data always available in the case of hardware or service outage we are talking big money to have all this infrastructure in the house within your security data center because of this capital expense to buy all this stuff and all operating expense to run um, it it, uh, it is four to six times more costly to manage the technology that is uh, uh, that it is uh, its outright purchase it's obvious why the cloud could be so compelling let's see what you have got for as pause your videos and uh, resume once you have the answers to these questions before going further let me assign you a task do some research and look into apis or what is known as an application programming interface what are apis why are they needed how are they used and what are the different type of apis in the software development community so in regards to platform as a service pass is a complete development and deployment environment in the cloud with resources that enable you to deliver everything uh from simple cloud based apps to sophisticated cloud enabled enterprise applications you purchase the resources you need from a cloud service provider on a pay as you go basis and uh, access them over a secure internet connection like as pass includes infrastructure servers storage and networking but also middleware development tools business intelligence services database management services and more pass is designed to support the complete web application life cycle building testing deploying managing and updating pass allows you to avoid the expense and complexity of buying and managing software licenses the underlying application infrastructure and middleware container or chesters uh, such as uh, kubernetes or the development tools and other resources you manage the applications and services you develop and the cloud service provider typically manages everything else organizations typically use pass uh, for uh, scenarios like uh, development framework pass provides a framework that developers can build upon to develop uh, or customize cloud based applications similar to the way you create an excel macro pass lets developers create applications using built in software components cloud features such as scalability high availability and multi tenant capability are included reducing the amount of coding that developers must do analytics or business intelligence tools provided as a service uh, with pass allow organizations to analyze and mine their data finding insights and patterns and predicting outcomes to improve forecasting product design decisions investment returns and other decision de uh, business decisions additional services pass providers may offer other services that enhance application such as workflow directory security and scheduling by delivering infrastructure as a service pass offers uh, the same uh, advantages as as yes. but uh, 
its uh, additional features middleware deployment tools sorry development tools and other business tools give you more advantages uh, such as uh, cut coding time fast development tools can cut the time it takes to code new apps with pre-coded applications component built in uh, built into the platform such as workflow directory services security features search and so on and uh, then uh, add development capabilities without adding staff platform as a service component can give uh, your development team new capabilities without needing to add staff having the required skills and then uh, another one is develop for multiple platforms including mobile more easily some service providers give you uh, development options for multiple platforms such as computers mobile devices and browsers making cross platform apps quicker and easier to develop and then we uh, can think about use uh, using sophisticated tools affordably a pay as you go model makes it possible for individuals or organizations to use sophisticated development software and business intelligence and analytics tools that they could not afford to purchase over uh, overnight support and then uh, support uh, geographically distributed development teams because the development environment is accessed over the internet development teams can work together projects on projects uh, even when team members are in remote locations and lastly efficiently manage uh, the application life cycle pass provide all of the capabilities that you need to support the complete web application life cycle building testing deploying managing and updating within the same integrated environment Software as a Service SaaS allows users to connect to and use cloud-based apps over the internet. Common examples are email, calendaring and office tools such as Microsoft Office 365. SaaS provides a complete software solution that you purchase on a pay-as-you-go basis from a cloud service provider. You rent the use of an app for your organization and uh, your user connect to it over the internet, usually with a web browser. All of the underlying infrastructure, middleware, app software and app data are located in the service provider's data center. The service provider manages the hardware and software and uh, uh, with the appropriate service agreement will ensure the availability and the security of the app and your data as well. SaaS allows your organization to get quickly up and running with an app at minimal upfront cost. Let's understand its scenarios. If you have used a web-based email service such as Outlook, Hotmail or Yahoo Mail, then you have already used a form of SaaS. With these services, you log into your account over the internet, often from a web browser or a web app. The email software is located on the service provider's network and your messages are stored there as well. You can access your email and stored messages from a web browser on any computer or internet connected device. The previous examples are free services for personal use. For organizational use, you can rent productivity apps such as email collaboration and calendaring and sophisticated business applications such as customer relationship management, CRM, enterprise resource planning, ERP and document management. You pay for the use of these apps by subscription or according to the level of use. So what are the common advantages of using SaaS platform? The first is gain access to sophisticated applications. To provide SaaS apps to users, you don't need to purchase, install, update, or maintain any hardware, middleware, or software. SaaS makes even sophisticated enterprise applications such as ERP and CRM affordable for organizations that lack the resources to buy, deploy, and manage the required infrastructure and software themselves. Then pay only what you use. You only uh, you also save money because the SaaS service automatically scales up and down according to the level of users. Use free client software. Users can run most SaaS apps directly from their web browsers without needing uh, to download and install any software. Although some app requires plugins. This means that you don't need to purchase and install special software for your users. Most important is mobilize your workforce easily. SaaS makes it easy to mobilize your workforce because users can access uh, SaaS apps and data from any internet uh, connected computer or mobile devices. 
you don't need to worry about developing apps to run on different type of computers and devices because the service provider has already done so. Also, you don't uh, need to bring special expertise on board to uh, manage the security issues uh, inherent in mobile computing. A carefully chosen service provider will ensure the security of your data regardless of the type of device consuming it. Access app data from anywhere. With data stored in the cloud, users can access uh, their information from any internet connected computer or mobile device. And when app is stored in the cloud, no data is lost if a user's computer or device fails. Unified communications as a service is one of the best known terms in the everything as a service economy. While the concept of unified comms has been around for years, the as a service model makes an entirely cohesive technology stack for more accessible to the masses. So for almost 100 years, starting the Alexandra Graham Bell and his invention of the telephone in 1879, there's been American Telephone and Telegraph. The company founded by Bell, its inventor, maintains a monopoly on telephony, telephone service in the United States. The goal for almost 100 years was to build the network and deliver wire, wire telephone services to every city, town, home uh, in a rural farmhouse in the uh, United States. And it worked. It worked great. The telephone monopoly built the world's largest and most reliable telephone network in the world. But without competition, the U.S. government believed the U.S. consumer is going to be left without a choice and affordable alternatives to telecom services. So for most of its first 100 years, the U.S. telephone service was a utility. You were the business you worked at, paid monthly for the privilege of having a telephone or telephone service and for your telephone numbers. But this was all going to be changed in 1982. When the U.S. Justice Depart Department filed in one of uh, uh, an antitrust lawsuit against AT&T before the monopoly break up into baby uh, phone system, the consumer could not own a telephone nor any of its facilities. Everything was a monthly service from the telephone utility. When alienation finally happened in January 1982, the telephone industry changed overnight. The baby and uh, regional bells were formed and uh, <clears throat> for the first time, the customer could own their telephones and then connect their own equipment to the businesses, Centrex and uh, office telephones exchange. This is the time in history when in business we, start, uh, we started using the term on-premises equipment or we commonly call it now on-prem. In the beginning, uh, on-prem <clears throat> on telephones platforms were big, clunky, used electronics and were messy. Then its technology advanced through competition in the industry, created the private uh, branch exchange or PBX where an organization could grow to tens of thousands of telephones and then for smaller businesses. The key system powered by the key service unit or KSU was born and then technology moved faster beyond the anticipation. Now we have UCAS with us. According to the Magic Quadrant for UCAS, created by industry analyst Gartner, UC and uh, UCAS are both concepts that uh, often uh, offer similar features such as voice and telephony, vo uh, video and audio conferencing, real-time messaging and presence. The critical difference is the, that UCAS is hosted by your provider. That means that you don't have to set up any of your infrastructures to get started. The flexible and cloud-based nature of UCAS makes it uh, an excellent choice for businesses for uh, of all sizes. With UCAS, you can avoid the initial expenses often associated with setting up an advanced communication strategy. However, you still get to tap into the latest disrupted technology on the market. Some of the features you might expect from the UCAS include uh, voice and telephony. Poor communication costs the economy some, uh, something in the region of uh, $37 billion each year. It also leads to $42.6 million each year in lost productivity. Unified communications aims to eliminate the common problems that companies face when it comes to keeping people connected. Rather uh, than merely offering VoIP or video messaging, the concept combines everything you need to reach your employees and customers into the same environment. However, this doesn't mean simply replacing traditional forms of communication like telephony with uh, something more modern. Voice continues to be one of the essential components of any UC strategy. Cloud, PBX and VoIP services are at the heart of uh, most UK solutions. 
However, these days they are becoming increasingly advanced. Today, it's possible to access UK systems that come with uh, not just high quality voice, but call, call recording features, AI implementations for intelligent call routing and even sentiment analysis. UK solutions can also give companies um, an easy way to accelerate conversations with a customer from a message to a phone call to a video chat. Video and meeting solutions, uh, though voice will uh, always be a vital part of the UC conversations for most companies, there are other channels to consider too. For instance, with 50% of the UK workforce set to be working remotely by next year, there is a rising demand for services that offer uh, more intimate methods of communication. UCAS can bring video and meeting solutions into your business that make it easier to collaborate with employees uh, wherever they are. The cloud ensures that uh, your team members don't need to be in the uh, same room to work together on projects anymore. With video and a collaboration tool, it's possible to share files, host conversations, and even launch presentations from a desktop, smartphone, or tablet. Video is particularly useful in circumstances where people can't speak face to face as it ensures that the nuisance of facial expression or, and body language aren't lost. Messaging is another mode of communication that's becoming increasingly popular in the current corporate environment. In a UK environment, messaging can refer to anything from real time conversations hosted on collaboration applications to SMS and MMS text. Used correctly, messaging allows employees to stay connected and collaborated more efficiently in the workplace. However, it also provides an excellent uh, way to reach out to uh, customers too. These days, many uh, younger clients prefer text messages and instant messaging to phone conversations. UK solutions can give businesses a way to manage and organize their messaging strategy so that uh, they can offer a more omnichannel service experience to consumers. Any device you have integrated into your UCAS technology can provide access to anything from social media chat to voicemail, transcriptions, and instant messages. Remember, over 80% of people currently use text messaging of, for uh, business purposes. Presence. Many UCAS solutions are becoming increasingly antwent uh, for the demand for better collaboration in the workplace. The right service will not only give you a multitude of ways to connect with your teams uh, and customers, but also provide insights into who is available for you to speak to. For instance, for your UK solution can show you who's offline and online at the at any given time. Presence features also show information about what that person is doing. For instance, you can uh, see if your remote worker are in a call and unavailable to chat or whether they are currently out for lunch. This makes it much easier for employees to access the support they need when they are dealing with complex projects or clients. It also ensures that uh, people in the increasingly popular remote working environment can maintain some work-life balance. With presence features, you can show the rest of your team when you have decided to switch off for the day. Mobility and apps. The demand for mobility is rising, dri uh, driven by mobile and remote workers, among other things. Even if your employees don't work remotely, there's a good chance that you have field workers in your uh, midst uh, that you need to support with the uh, same tools as your on-prem employees. Fortunately, with a reliable UK solution, you can ensure that mobility remains a part of your business strategy. For instance, the cloud will ensure that your team can tap into the tools they need through applications for their tablets and smartphones. What's more, technology like WebRTC ensures that people don't necessarily need to download new software to join a meeting. Instead, people can tap to join conferences from their email account via a web browser. With UKS, anyone can take work out of the office. UKS Sorry, CPaaS and APIs. Increasingly, UCAS is beginning to seem uh, like uh, just one flavor of the larger concept of CPaaS. Communication platform as a service bring additional flexibility into the UCAS world by allowing companies to integrate their preferred communication tools into their existing applications and processes. For instance, you could add video conferencing as an option alongside your messaging tools 
or build CRM contacts into your chat conversations with um, clients. In a world where one size doesn't fit all, service providers and resellers can create more bespoke solutions for their customers based on uh, the value they genuinely need. Through APIs and implementations, anyone can build the custom communication stack that's best suited uh, to their employees and their target audience. Next-gen UCAS providers are even using CPaaS to better link the front-end and back-end communication in business. For instance, you could use your application to connect with your team while you are uh, on a front-end call uh, with a customer and collect vital information. What's more, when everything is integrated correctly through CPaaS, it's much easier to track the customer journey and uh, gather useful information for your business. The UCAS marketplace, uh, the as a service environment and everything it entails, it uh, uh, entails has uh, seen phenomenal growth in recent years, offering a way for companies of all sizes to transform their communication strategies. UCAS combines uh, affordability and uh, convenience into a single package. According to the mar markets and markets, uh, uh, the sector should be worth at least 28.69 billion by 2021. The Synergy Research Group also highlights the potential that UCAS has for the marketplace, showing an annual growth rate of 29%. This is very nice. What's more, studies show that UCAS space is capable of providing revenues of over $400 million every quarter. Let's take a look at uh, how the industry is embra embracing this transformating marketplace. Thank you everyone. If you have got any query or concern, then always remember the fastest way to reach out is the comment box. Pick up your keyboard and start typing in the comment box. I will get back to you at my earliest. Alternatively, you can drop me an email at cybercyber at gmail.com. Also, do not miss to subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell icon to be aware of any new courses that I will publish. You can connect with us at uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to get yourself updated with latest cybersecurity industry trends, documents, and various articles. You should use our uh, unique ID, Cyber Cyber, to find and connect with us on these social media platforms. Please subscribe to my channel, Cyber Cyber Security. Press the notification bell icon, like this video, and let's cyber the cyberspace in a whole new way and build this learning loving community together. Thank you so much for watching. Happy learning.